My partner's cousin died two years ago. So sorry for your loss. My partner's cousin died two, year, two years ago. He left a girl and a child. My partner stayed at her apartment overnight a couple of times. He's seeing nothing wrong with it and he says he wanted to help her and treats her like family member, but I personally don't see. I personally, what did she say? She treats you like family member, but I personally don't like it. What do you think about it and how would you react? Okay, so let's get it together. Higher self, show me my yes. Higher self, show me my no. Higher self, I am balanced. I have personal stuff, but I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna let the spirit flow through me. And I am an observer, not an absorber. Okay, so connect with to the person. First question is, is she overreacting with the boyfriend helping out it? She is overreacting. I think we kind of all knew that. Second question, is there anything going on between him and the girl? No. Next question, is the girl or the, the girlfriend being either jealous or insecure, things of that nature? Yes, okay. Uh, treats her like family member, but I personally don't like it. Does she need to get over that? That's, sorry. Does she need to get over that and one, does she need to get over that? And two, does she need to stay with the person? Higher self. Okay. Does she need to give over the situation? Yes, she does. Should she break up with the guy who is taking care of? No. So, what do you think and how would you react? Okay, does she need to work on her feminine energy? No. Does she need to work on her counterfeit personality and ego? Yes. Okay, so let's find out what her ego is. Her strongest ego that she would need to work on in this situation is psychopathic. Nope. Uh, schizophrenic. Schizophrenic. Schizophrenic? No. What about anal? Anal? Anal. No. Masochistic. Masochistic. Yes, masochistic. Okay, are there any other questions we should be asking to offer advice to this woman? No. Okay, so let's recap. Yes, she should stay with the guy. The guy is taking care of family. How is that not a good trait? I just don't understand how that is not a good trait. There's so many children without fathers. And if somebody is willing to step up and be a mentor or be in that masculine role, women need to allow that to happen. I don't understand what this thing is where, um, and this is not the only one where, okay, they get with somebody and like something happens and like they broke up with the other one and yeah, I have a baby mama over here, but I also took care of them since they were like young and I see them as mine, even though they're not mine and the woman that you're with have the problem with it. I don't understand why you would shut down that part of a man who is embracing or who has who has expandable boundaries to include those who are not of his seed but who are in his family and his community we as women cannot do that now if she's if he's cheating on on you with her that's one thing but in this case it is not the case this man is help all right sorry somebody's like happy mandalays okay Great. Somebody's doing it. Okay, so cool. So allow him to be a man because that stretches him so that he could be more of a man for you. Another thing is you need to work on this is the second woman, you need to work on your ego. I think I said masochistic. That means you're sabotaging stuff. Like even if it was good, you're gonna find a way to sabotage it and then be play the victim role. Please stop it. Stop it. When women get with good men it'll bring up your triggers because you can't imagine you have a good man in your space something has to be wrong because in the past it had to be wrong it had to be wrong in the past so why would it not happen again and what i'm telling to you is that when you have a good man and he brings up these triggers and he tells you about them take the breath take a step back is this 
am I reacting from scarcity or am I reacting from abundance? And if it's scarcity in a masochistic type of way, I highly suggest you either join a woman's group, get some books, get some training, go get some mental health, whatever you need to do to get rid of stuff that's sabotaging you. You deserve a good relationship just like he deserved to have a good relationship. You both do, okay? Personally, I don't like it, and I'm telling you, get over it. Because community is everything right now. I'm pretty sure you're pro You know, community is everything right now. Everybody needs, I mean, with the climate 2020, community is everything right now. You need to allow him to be that part of him. Because it'll activate that part in you, and you guys can grow and learn together. So, what do you think about it? How would you react? Personally, I have no problem. Personally, I would be like, yo, let's continue to help her because you know I'm I'm all about the babies like because this it's our future we have to take care of our future all right moving on I feel like I rambled on that one all right so that was that one I hope this helps I know it's not what you wanted to hear but I don't always do what you want to hear